but Nathan and Tarzana. It is our second date update. So I guess he met this uh, woman out and they had separate plans for New Year's, but they met at a holiday party. Then they went you know, apart for New Year's. Then they got back together. A couple dates. Apparently went well. And now she's blowing him off. Right? Is Nathan, is that a fair characterization of what happened? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So you went out twice with her? Yeah, it was, we we met at a friend's, like one of those friend's holiday parties where it was crazy. The, the guest list kind of exploded. So we, I went with a friend of mine. She knew uh, one of the roommates throwing the party. She she, she knew a sister of, of a, the roommate. So it was more like friends of friends. We, we didn't really have any other connections besides that, but we met there and we really hit it off. And, uh, yeah, so, um, you know, once, once I started talking to her, we didn't really stop. We, we kissed a little bit there, you know, there was mistletoe, it was a holiday party. And, um, I asked her out before, before she left. And, and so, yeah, so we went out, uh, a couple of times we, we had dinner, we tried to do the, the candy cane lane in Woodland Hills, but the lines were crazy long. So we, we didn't end up doing that, but yeah. So then we just went out last week. Uh, we saw, um, we saw any anyone but you, and then came back to my place. Oh, was that good? And you seem like a good yeah. dater. I know. I'm like, this all sounds great, great, yeah, great. Yeah, Nathan, you kind of piqued our interest over here. Yeah. It doesn't work out. <laughs> Somebody might be listening. By the way, I it's, heard the movie is good. Yeah. yeah, I want to see it. Which one's the movie? What, what, anyone yeah, but you. Good. Good. Uh, <laughs> what, who's in? With our uh, Glenn Sweeney Powell, and Glenn Sweeney. Powell. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. A lot of things out there on Sorry. screens. I tried. Is this in theaters only? Yes, yes. theaters. Uh, all right, Nathan. So, all right, but now... She's not getting back to you. So can you retrace your steps? Is there anything you can think about that happened as to why? I mean, I don't really think so. I mean, in the last date we had, it felt like something was off. And she, she seemed like she was not talking as much as she did the first time that we went out. And so, I mean... You know, it, it was good, but but yeah, it seemed just a little off. But now it's just like I'm lucky if I even get a response from her at all. All right, so I will put you on hold. We have her number here. What's her name? Maya. We're gonna try and call Maya next and see if we can find out why. Like, what's the deal? The guy sounds like a great dater. So if you're listening, it doesn't work out with Maya. We have Nathan's number. Yeah, right. hit us up. Yeah, he, yeah he's just in Maybe that. that's what we should be doing. I just dawned on me. Right, if it doesn't work out, call one out. Two and get to date. I don't know if we give it away quite like that, but we can certainly give out the number of the person that gets blown off if it seems like somebody you like when you're listening. Right, with their permission. I've heard these before. With and their I'm, permission. Sure, but I, I'd be listening to Nathan going, I like that guy. Mm -hmm. Well, I almost hope it doesn't work out with Maya for me. I agree. I think it's a, it, Mark, it adds to the whole thing it's for me. genius. It does. Now it's you have the opportunity. Space. Right, whatever, but it gives people the opportunity. Like, I know that, like, when you you hear somebody on the air, you go, "Wow, that person sounds like I want to be their friend." Yep, I this also is like that. It, it adds a little bit of a competition for the other person. It's like, yeah, my, I don't. My, do I, am I rooting for? We already have a, somebody on deck. Well, I'm almost thinking <laughs> if you're listening to Second Aid Update, I'm rooting for you because you're listening. Yeah, I don't know if Maya listens or not. It's like the burner. You know? What is it like, the burner? You know, they say you should always have, like, many saucepans on the burner. You know, like your main your main meal, but then you have your sides. You never heard about someone being on the back burner? Yeah, but burner. It's like burner phone, burner. <laughs> I don't know burner we're talking I think she just meant to say back burner. Yeah. <laughs> burner. Uh, all right, let's come back here at Kiss. <laughs> all right, so we're in a second date update. And you should know that Nathan had a couple romantic, really good-sounding dates with Maya. And they met at a holiday party. They did these dates around Southern California here in LA. And then she's completely blown him off. I mean, it's a pretty textbook second date update issue. And he can't figure out. He's like, dude, I'm stumped. Why, why is she blowing me off? I like, don't get it. Yeah, because it was very drastic. I was out of nowhere, just blew him off. After what sounded like some really great dates. Mm -hmm. So my thinking was, I like Nathan. I don't know him. I mean, I just met him on the phone. I like him. Yeah. If you like him and it doesn't work out and you want to call in and get his number, We'll give it out. Ask him what his sign is. Nathan, what's your sign? Uh, Leo. Oh, great. Why is it great? Leos for, for are who? great. Leos for are who? great. If you're, if you're a Taurus out there. <laughs> okay.
Okay, well, let's get to Maya. He wants it to work out with Maya. Let's see if we can figure this out. So, Nathan, be very quiet. I'm going to put her on, okay? Listen in to see if we can find out why she's blowing you off so coldly, okay? All right. Here we go. Uh, Maya, thank you for holding. You're on the air with us here. It's Ryan Seacrest, Sissy, and Tanya. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? We're doing super well. Thank you for asking, and thanks for coming on. I appreciate agreeing to do this. We're calling you about a guy named Nathan that you went out with a couple of times. Does that sound familiar? Okay, okay yeah, yeah, I remember him. Tell me about Nathan. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, so it started off amazing, um, almost, you know, like a fairy tale, actually. But, you know, apparently maybe too much. It, yeah, it was it was a little too much. What do you mean too much? Well, we went to a movie, you know, and it was nice. And, we, and then we grabbed a drink and headed back to his place. But then things got, it got weird. What well, got weird? Uh, like it was clean and everything, but he still had his Christmas decorations up. And yeah. And that's weird? I mean, that's like weird know. to the point where you judged him on that? If you Did you like him? Okay, I, I don't know. I just think it was it was a bit much, but I gave him the benefit of the doubt, and I was like, have you not had the time to take him down? And he was like, no, and then he went into, like, full childhood, like, mode, like, talking about how the holidays are, like, such a big deal for him, and he's sad when they're over, so he just stretches it out as long as he can. Look, well, I get the idea there, because it is a little lonely once you take all this stuff down. But I feel like also my in this world where we're all trying to find our connection, if you meet someone and it goes well, you like the dates, right? You seem like a pretty cool dude on the dates. Yeah, I mean, he seemed cool. It's just, I don't know. I just, once he got into an apartment, I just, I got the ick, you know? Because, you know, with guys, huh. there's like a fine line between like sweet and childish. And this time, you know, he just went a little bit too far into the childish side. And I don't know. It it was yeah, because turn. childish can be playful, or I guess it can give you, as it did in this case, the ick. Well, Maya, I just mm. want you to know that we are on the phone with Nathan. He's here listening to this. Nathan, what's your response to what Maya said? Uh, uh, okay. Um, I'm, I'm kind of bummed. That was because <laughs> those were like, those are really personal feelings that I shared with you. And, and, it seemed like you really, you told me you really liked the holidays. And so I feel like we shared that. I feel like it was common, you know, interest. Yeah, I mean, I, I do like the holidays. It's just, I, I like the holidays during the holidays, you know? It's just, I'm sorry, it's just always a bit much. I mean, you're like, you're like Buddy the Elf. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I love think, Buddy I like the Elf. I don't know. <laughs> It's not, so, I mean, well, it's not meant to be for, it sounds like Maya here. Uh, I mean, would, Maya, it, would it have been better, Maya, if he had already had the, the, the decorations put away? Like, is that what's, I don't know. I is mean, that what's the problem here? Like, this is the real issue. Like, <laughs> having a, I'm struggling. This is it with Nathan? This like, is, why is it like because it? he had too many decorations and they were still out? Or like, I don't know what the issue is either. It's just that it, we had fun, but, you know, Nathan, you're an adult. And you had an elf on the shelf, and you live alone. So I don't know. It just it, it was wow, just it was too much. I didn't feel like that was a big deal, but that really, I mean, okay. I I hate that I'm saying this on the radio, but like I had some like harder times during the holidays when I was younger, and you know, Christmas and the holiday you know season always made me feel really happy. And they still do. So I, I keep my decorations up just based on how I feel. And, I mean, I'm, I, I've, I've taken them down now. You know, it's been a, like a month since. Like, I haven't, I've taken them down now. But, I don't know, that just... Yeah, I'm not trying to sound mean. Okay, I'm so sorry. Maya, he's not for you. Thank like you so much. for that. I don't know. Oh, I mean, wait. Thank for, Maya, thank you for being honest with us. I'm going to let you go. Yikes. To me, that's... Yeah, she's gone. That's not... Nathan, I like you more. Yeah, she's not the girl I, for you. She's not, but there's a lot of people hearing this right now. Mm -hmm. And if you vibe with Nathan's vibe, like, sounds like you got a big heart. Yeah. 
And oh, why is that the one for you? Really she's important to me. I don't know. I got you. That's... And she should appreciate that a little more if, if she's the one for you. The person that's with you, like, it's not meant to be. But anybody wants to... Can I, I give out your number to anybody that calls in? I think it's great. So I don't think that you should feel any sort of way about this, Nathan.